In this code.org tutorial, we're going to learn about for loops. For loops allow us to count up from a number a certain amount of times. For They're used throughout programming. This is important stuff. Let's get going. That's what we're doing. Collect the nectar from each flower using the fewest blocks possible. Okay, so we have one block here and we can use up to five. Let's see. I'm just going to start throwing stuff down. It looks like I need to move forward and then get the nectar, but that will get me one. Okay, well then what do I do? I'll move forward to the next flower and get nectar, two, three, hit run here. That's going to work for the first three, move forward, get nectar, but I'm already over on blocks. I'm using seven and I need to only use five. Well, in code, if you are repeating yourself, you're working too hard. There's an easier way. So I'm going to head into this loop and then let's grab a number and it looks like five. So this will make this repeat five times. And now I don't have to write it so much. Onward. Okay, so we need to get all the nectar. We can use up to 18 blocks on this one, which does seem like a lot. So let me just start throwing down blocks to see what we have here. I'm going to move forward, get nectar once, and then I need to move forward once. But now there's two nectar on that one. And then what? Move forward once and there's three nectar. Then what? Move forward and there's four nectar. And this is something that would probably be better done by variables. But since they give us this amount of blocks, I'll use them. Because I think they were letting us do it the long way first. But I can only use up to 18 blocks. So move forward. And I'm going to use a loop on this last one. And I could have used loops earlier, like here and here. Oh, I move on blocks because I use 19. Okay, so instead, I'll use another loop here. Four. And I could even save one more. Oh, no, that would be even. Cool, because this counts as two separate blocks. Let's keep going. Video. Ah, the use of for loops makes this puzzle a lot easier. Read the code. What do you think will happen when you run? Now, keep in mind, if you click an answer... <clears throat> If you click an answer and hit run, your answer is submitted to your teacher. So don't do that till you're certain. All right. Win run for counter from one to four count by one. Okay. So it looks like we just created maybe a variable named counter. And we're going to count from one to four. How much are we counting by? We're counting by one. Okay. So I'm going to move forward. Repeat counter times. Counter from one to four. So I guess I'm at one right now. Do get nectar. So I move forward and I get one nectar of counters at one. I hit the bottom. This is a for loop. Okay, well, if I was at one and I'm counting by one, I'm then one plus one is two. I'd be at two. I move forward once and then I pick up two, hit once, twice because counter is two, hit the bottom. Counter was at two, two count by one plus one is three. I move forward once and then repeat counter time. So I repeat three times getting three nectar, which is that flower. I hit the bottom three count by one. 3 plus 1 is 4. I can count up to 4, so I can keep going. Move forward once. I'm at here. 4 times I pick up nectar. Hit the bottom. I'm at 4. 4 count by 1 is 5. Five's too big, right? I'm only 1 to 4, so I'm done on this guy. Except for 1. The bee will move forward and collect all the nectar for every flower except for 1. I think that's what will happen, because we're not going to go 5. But da uh, Onward. Hope the bee collect the nectar. Okay, so I need to move forward each time, it looks like. And we can only use nine blocks. So I'd move forward, get nectar. Then what would I do? And I'm just going to throw stuff down to kind of see the logic of this. Looks like the next flower has two nectar. Next flower has three nectar. Right? And then I'm going to move forward. Okay, well, if I'm going up by one each time, let's look at my... Ooh, so four counter from one to ten. It looks like I only need to go to seven. So, and count by one. Hmm, I'm going to need to move forward, certainly, but then the only thing I'm going to have to do repeatedly is get nectar. Seven times, right? And this will make me move forward seven times and get one nectar from each, which isn't what we want, right? So seven times forward, one nectar. How could I get all? Hmm, well, we have a repeat here. Repeat blank number of times. Well, how many times do I want to re get nectar? Four counter from one to seven. So counter starts at one and it goes to seven. Count by one. Move forward one. 
Repeat how many times? Well, counter is currently equal to 1, so 1 time. Boop. Counter is set at 1 right now. Count up by 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is less than 7, so we'd move forward once, right? Because this doesn't have the word counter in it. You just go forward once. But then we get nectar. How many times do we want to get nectar? This is where we could use our variable, counter. So every time, 1 through 7 times we run this pink outer loop for loop, Every time we only move forward once, but now we get nectar however many times counter is equal to. First, it's equal to one first time through, hit the bottom back to the top. One plus one is two. So then we'd move forward once, but we hit here. We got to do this counter times. Well, what's counter? Two, choop, choop, hit the bottom back to the top. Two counters two, two plus one is three. Three is still less than seven. So we move forward once right inside of this loop. And then three times over, we'd get nectar and it should take us to the end. And so we're only moving forward once because it's just inside the loop, but the variable counter is used here, onward. You can also try to use a for loop to count down. Try gathering this nectar by counting down from 5 to 1. Okay, so I know I'm going to need to use a loop, they told me that much. And I need to count down from 5 to 1, and then count by, do they give us any other clues here? Ha! Huh. So I might want to count by negative 1 then, if I need to count down. Oh, wait a minute, though. So I'm counting 5 to 1, count by 1. So it should do that, I think, automatically. Now, what do I want to do? Well, I want to move forward, certainly. And once again, I'm going to want to get nectar. But this is only going to get one nectar and one move forward. So I need more nectar than that. I can use another loop here, get nectar, quicha, okay? And I'm going to put counter here. I want to be really clear, though, on why that's the case. So let's go ahead and step through this step. So right now I move forward once, counter is starting at the number five. So counter is equal to five. It's gonna go to number one and we count down by one. First run through it's five, we move forward once. Now we're gonna highlight get nectar, counter's five. So we took one, two, three, four, five. Great, we're done with this, we hit the bottom. Five minus one, because we're counting by one, is four. Now I'll speed to then, but we did it. All right, the last number, in your for loop is called the increment. Each time the loops run, the counter variable changes by that. In yes, try collecting these flowers using an increment of two. So what we're trying to say here is this number here by, that's the increment. That's how much we're changing by. So it's asking me to do it by amount of two. My first flower, it looks like I want to start at one and go to seven. Well, I don't think I'd want to go to 10 then. Set that to seven. Let's say move forward. And then I'm going to use once again, I can't just do get nectar, right? Because I need to use my loop. Yeah, so I have to use another loop here. Choop, repeat, get nectar, drop. Now, how many times, just like we have been doing, counter time. So whatever my variable counter is equal to, that's how many times I'm going to get the nectar. And then it will go to five, it should, and seven, bam, onward. All right. What should your increment be to collect 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 nectar? Ooh, we're getting fancy. So first, let's figure out the path. I'm going to move forward, I can tell. I should only use 12 blocks. Forward, turn left. And this is how I always do it. I just start actually putting down code. Forward, get nectar. Uh, I might, might as well turn right again. That way I'm facing the way I started. Let's see if I'm in the right spot here. Move, yep. Oh. Whoopsie daisies. And I got one nectar. Okay, so this is going to be how I take a step. So that's good, but I have to get more nectar. Well, we start at 3, and we go to 15. Let's go ahead back to my for loop here with my variable counter. I start at 3 this time, so I'm going to go ahead and set that to a 3. And I'm going to what number? 15, I know. And then how much am I counting by? Well, 3, 6. I'm counting up by 3. So let me put all this in here, and this isn't right yet, because now I'm only going to get one nectar each time, because it starts at 3, boom, then 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, and we will get all the way down here, but we're never using our variable counter. We need to make sure, right here, that I actually use our variable. Count Counter is changing each time. It might start equal to 3, right? When we get to here, counter is equal to 3 to start, so once, twice, and three times we hit the bottom, we'll go back to the top. Counter is equal to three, but we count up by three. So three plus three is six. Six is not 15. We keep going. We'll move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, hit this. And counter is what? Six. So we got all six and we'll get all the way to then. 
touchdown. All right. Let's see what we got here. Use the counter variable twice to solve this puzzle. Okay, so one, two, and three. I'm going to start throwing stuff down here. One, get nectar, forward. Going to be wrong at first, which is fine because I'm testing. So this is obviously wrong. I'm over on blocks, but that would actually work. Okay, so how could I use a loop then? Well, I know this one's about four loops. And so what do I want to go to? Well, one, two, three. I'm going to go off their number. So I'll start at one, we'll say, and I'll go to three. And then what am I going to count by? I guess one. So far, so good. Now, notice how I am repeating this. I'm using, I'm going up in the value, but I'm doing the same thing. Move forward, get nectar, forward, nectar, forward, nectar. So that's a good hint where we could use our variable. Because we're doing the same action, the only thing that changes is the number of times we're doing it. Well, how many times? It goes up by one each time, so we can use counter. Boom. Now this, though, isn't going to work. Because, let me go ahead, I'll move forward once now, and I'll get one nectar. Hit the bottom. I'm only, counter's only equal to one, so we hit this. One. All right, so count up by one. One plus one is two. Two is not three, so we'll go through, and twice... I'll move forward, and it's going to err because there's no nectar here. We need these to be separate because that way we'll move forward the right amount of times, and then we'll get the nectar because it's going to be a problem if we do one right after another. But this way we do each the correct amount of times. Awesome. Now let's combine the counter variable and the math block. How can you use counter variable to navigate the garden with the fewest number of blocks possible? Tricky. All right. So I'm going to start by getting some code down. So this should get me to here. I'll turn. Yes. Great. And then what would I do? Well, I know I turn left after this again, and I'd start moving. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what's going on here then. What if I break it off right here? I turn left, I move forward some amount, and I get some amount of nectar. I turn left, I move forward, I get some amount of nectar. And I was about to repeat myself again. Now notice, I move forward once, I get three nectar. I move forward twice, I get six nectar. So it seems like every time I move forward one more, and I double the amount of nectar. Two, six. One, three, two, six. Okay, well then, that's something we can work with. Let me grab a loop. And then I'm going to start with 1, because I move forward one time, then 2, then 3, so on and so forth, right? So I'll start with 1. How many will I move here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll count up to 5, I guess, and go up by 1. Okay. And then what am I going to want to do? All right. Well, I think I need to go left each time, so I will do that. I do need to move forward, and I do need to get nectar. This is still going to give me a problem, though, because right here, I'm not going to... I'll go down, I'll get the nectar. Now I'm going to try to turn, which is fine, move forward once. There's no nectar here. Error. So what I need to do is make sure to use a loop here where I can use my variables. So the first time, I'm going to move forward however much counter is equal to. Then I'm going to need to get nectar a certain amount. Let's take a look. Okay, well, again, like we said... When nectar, when I move forward one, how many times do I get nectar? Three. Well, when I move forward two, how many times do I get nectar? Six. Oh, and this needs to be a three, of course, because it's three times. Now, let's go through. All right, I move left. Counter starts equal to one. We're go going up to five. We go up by one each time. Right now, counter's one, so we turn left. Repeat one time, we move forward. Well, we move forward once, that's done. 1 times 3 now. So now we're going to do 1 times 3, which is 3. So we should get all 3 nectar. We're done with this. We hit the bottom. We go back to the top. All right. So counter is 1 to 5. We count up by 1. Well, we were at 1. So counter now, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is still not 5. So we keep going. We turn left. Now, 2 times. Counter is equal to 2. Once we move forward. Twice we move forward. Hit this. Counter times 3. Okay. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. So we should get all 6. Boom, we hit the bottom. Now we go, if counter was two, we go up by one. Counter is three. Three is not five yet, so we can keep going. And we have it. Awesome. Challenge. We are completely ready for the challenge. All right. 
take what you learned about for loops, try to sub solve the puzzle. So I'm just going to start throwing code down and see where I get one, seven. So that's seven and that's 14. Interesting. That's double. So then how many steps? One step, two step, three step, four step, five steps. So that's five steps and that's 10. Hmm. One step, two step, three steps, and that's six. One step, and that's two. Well, if you think about it, then every time it's twice the amount of steps we took is how much nectar. Let me see what we have here. I'm going to start with seven steps, because like I said, we move seven steps, we move five steps, we move three steps, we move one. So I'll do seven to one, and I'm going to count by two. Now, there's another way to do this. I could have said, what, 14, right, to two? That would work as well. 14 to 2, and then I would move by dividing by 2. Okay, but let's see. So this is good. Now I need a loop. How many times do I want to move? I need to move counter number of times forward. And then what? Well, then I'll be here, so I'm going to need to do another loop. And how many times? Well, math counter. And what do I do? I get nectar. All right. And this should get me all the way there, because I start with 7. I'll move all the way down to here 7 times. I then go here. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 times I get nectar, hit the bottom. Now, I was at 7. If I'm counting by 2 towards 1, that's now 5. I move 5 times. Then I would do this. 5 times 2 is 10, so get 10 nectar. Oh, I forgot to turn. Rats. Okay, well, that's important. Now, there's always more, well, there's usually more than one way to solve a code puzzle. So let me show you something. After we get this, awesome. All right. The increment, if counting down, the increment subtracted from your counter. What would each increment be collected? 15, then 12, then 9, 6, 3. Okay. Oh, it's steps again. So let me get the step first. Let's see what that gets me. Okay, then what would I do? Well, I would need to... How many nectar? Oh, that's a lot. Well, I'm going to skip over that. I'm going to say, okay, now what? I'll turn left. We'll pretend I got it all. Move forward, turn right. Move forward. Then I would get nectar again. So we can tell the stair step is the same. So I already know where a variable is going to be good because I am repeating this chunk. You can tell. The thing that's not getting repeated is get nectar. So I need to figure out how to do that. All right. But how many times am I doing this? All of these. So let's go ahead and use a loop. And I can start with 15, since that, that's the number right there, and I'll go to 3. And it wants us to subtract. Well, look, 15, 12, 9. Oh, yeah, that would go down by 3 each time. Okay. And so now I start with the number 15. I'll turn. I'll move forward, turn right. But let's get nectar in a loop. Bloop, bloop. Because if we set it equal to our variable counter... Then the first time will be 15. We'll get 15 nectar, hit the bottom. 15, count down by 3. So that's 12. We turn left, we do all this. We get 12 nectar, go up here. Then we do, what, 9, right? Because we count down by 3, do it all again. 6, because we count down by 3. And then 3, because we count down by 3, and we're done at 3. Awesome.